Hi guys, uh, welcome back. This is just a real quick video. We weren't planning on doing a video, but we've been working on this Lamborghini Huracan Storato. You've probably seen this on our channel in the past. Uh, we've done a reverse camera solution on this car. Um, this, the owner of this car, we've actually done a lot of work on other cars for him. Uh, so he's approached us now. He's been on a few Lamborghini forums and um, there's a few companies in America who do an upgrade for the Lamborghinis. So he's approached us and asked us if we could do something similar. So most of the equipment, um, amplifier wise actually, um, was his choice. So he's approached us and he said, look, um, this car's actually got from the factory the Sensonum system. So it's got the upgraded 10 speaker system with an amplifier from Lamborghini. Uh, and in comparison to non-amplified systems, it, it's okay. You know, I wouldn't say it's nice, but you know, some people would probably think it was okay. So uh, what we've actually done in this vehicle is um, he wanted everything hidden. Ideally, I would have loved to have put some amplifiers under the bonnet, uh, you know, a bit more power, but we just couldn't. We had to compromise. I want the owner's only requirement was he didn't want any amplifiers on, on show. And a big requirement was everything had to be fully reversible. So if he wanted to, he could take it all out. No wires had been cut and it could return it to stock. Now this in itself was a big challenge. So. What we've done in this car, we've used a match, a 10 channel amplifier. And what we've done from, for that is we've taken the signals from the factory um, Lamborghini system, run them into the match amplifier and back out to all the speakers. Now, when we've done this, we've actually built a harness in house. So the harness in itself um, was a big job. Um, so we've built, built a harness from scratch. What this does is it takes all of our signals and all of our um, outputs from the amp back out to the vehicle and no wire is cut on the vehicle whatsoever. So literally we can unplug this harness plug the factory amp back in and everything will go back to stock. It's literally as easy as that. So this plug and ply harness, I believe is a first in the UK. I don't know anybody else has done it because we've already had a few people call us and ask us about this harness and if we could make them one. So a 10 channel amplifier, most of the speakers in the car have been left stocked. This car runs a three-way active front end. So we've got an eight inch um, mid bass driver in the door. We've got a mid range and we've got a tweeter on the dash. Uh, we've then got a two-way active in the back. So what we've, the only speakers we've actually replaced in this car, we've replaced the tweeters on top of the dash. Uh, for them, we've actually gone for Focal Beryllium tweeters. Now these tweeters are fantastic, uh, amazing sounding tweeters. Um, if I'm completely honest, they probably could do with a little bit more uh, power, but it is what it is. We can't do anything about it. And every other speaker is stock, barring um, the subwoofer. So we've, we've actually custom built an enclosure uh, and that holds a Focal Utopia 10 inch subwoofer. It's in a sealed enclosure. Uh, we've actually got the proper matching Alcantara, so real Alcantara, which matches the interior of the car. And the subwoofer enclosure has been wrapped in real Alcantara and it matches the car. It's on a quick release bracket. I mean, you're not gonna get a lot behind the seats, but if the owner ever wants, he can literally take the subwoofer enclosure out, take it out of the car, and the little storage he's got behind the seats, he can use. So very usable. We've just spent, uh, you know, an hour or two just doing a little bit of tuning on it. And I'll be completely honest with you, it sounds really good. Even the factory speakers, I'm pretty impressed. It goes to show sometimes, you know, if you put the right power, DSP and EQ everything out, uh, you can actually get even a stock vehicle to sound pretty nice. Yes, the tweeters and the subwoofer help massively, but you know, it sounds really good. Um, so we've got two amplifiers in this car. So we've got the 10 channel amplifier running all the vehicle speakers fully active. So three way front end, uh, two way at the back. Uh, we've then got a mono amplifier, again a match mono amplifier, it's a new amplifier from match, I'll list all the prop part numbers down below, and that's running the 10 inch uh, Focal Utopia and it's putting about 600 watt RMS to that, so plenty of power for the subwoofer. Finally, with the match products, they do an external, they call it a remote control, we've used a conductor. So the problem on these Lamborghinis, and if you're a Lamborghini owner, you'll probably know, getting to the volume control is not easy. So on a conventional car, you just go volume up or down on the steering wheel, or you just hang, you know, put your hand out, reach the volume knob and turn the volume up or down. On the Lamborghini, um, some of the Lamborghini models, you, you literally have to press two or three buttons before you get to a volume slider. On this, they've got a quick button, which you press, volume comes up and then you press plus or minus, but it's still a bit fiddly when you're driving such a nice car. So we've put the conductor, we've put it just above his head, sort of to the middle of the car. And what that does is, that is now, he can use that as his volume controller. So he can turn the volume up or down from this conductor. He can also press the button and it will go to a second menu and he can actually adjust the sub bass as well. So it's a subwoofer level controller as well. Everything in the car looks really nice. It looks really stock. Um, it sounds really, really good. I'm actually quite impressed with it. The owner has basically said, look, um, I'm gonna see how it sounds. 
go with it and if not I'll bring it back because we've have done an, another couple of cars for him and then we may end up changing the door speakers another thing I want to quickly mention um, we haven't put any sound deadening in any of the doors or anywhere in the car and again if you know us, you know we always bang on about sound deadening, but it was a requirement of the owner. He said, I don't want any sound deadening in this car at the moment. I want you to do what I've asked for, see how it sounds. Um, we have actually done another Lamborghini for him, which we have fully soundproof. So he wants to, I think he wants to compare it. So I'm pretty sure we'll probably see this car back in for sound treatment and possibly upgraded speakers. So, you know, please um, subscribe follow us and you know hopefully there'll be a follow-up video but all in all sounds brilliant lovely looking car I absolutely love this Dorato uh, one more thing we did while it was in here the owner asked if we could arrange to have privacy glass so pre um, tints put around the car and again we can arrange all of this for you so um, we've had the windows tinted for him as well lightly so it looks really nice but yeah all in all very happy with the outcome sounds really good everything looks stock um, you know it can be returned to stock as well which is a main thing and if anybody's got a requirement for an audio system I mean, not just a Lamborghini any car Feel free to drop us a shout. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey,